Hi guys, Andy Freud from Survival School Norman Court. I want to do a test today. Can you really make a life-saving fire with just this? A paracord bracelet with a fire lighter here, a fire striker, ferroserum rod. Okay, tiny ferroserum rod in there. Okay, with a striker. Can I, that's all I've got. Can you really make a life-saving fire out in the wild with just this? Okay, I'm finding uh, natural tinders. Let's see. Let's go. So, I need to get some kindling first. So, good here, we've got some larch. Some nice dry larch. And some grand firs here, if we can reach them. It's down here. Nice and quick, it's raining here as well. So, I need to get this lit as quickly as possible. It's starting to get a bit wet. Okay, if it snaps like the sound of a crackling fire, then you know it's good kindling. Okay, all snapping nice. I wanna get my three different stages of kindling off of all these trees and as quickly as possible as well. Okay. What we want to find is silver birch so we can get some tinder off of that. Okay, let's go. Okay. Silver birch, got myself some stand that up. Okay, got myself some kindling. It's really raining here now. I don't feel it so much here. But what I want to do is, I want to get as much of this split down into different sizes, three different sizes. Just want to do it as quickly as possible. Get this fire lit, get dry, and uh, hopefully get nice and warm. So we need three things for our fire to work. We need heat, we need oxygen, and we need fuel. Okay, some green bits there, that's not going to be any good for us. Any one of them three things disappears, we're not going to get our fire. And the problem we got with this fire still on this paracord bracelet is it's quite small. And if you've got cold and wet hands, then you could easily snap it. And that is not going to be good. So, go. Okay. Do with a bit more, really. Let's go get some more. Okay. Don't really want to rush fire. Okay. When you need it most, it's when it's going to let you down the most. Deadfall hanging in trees is going to be perfect. Hanging up in trees. There we go. Okay. Right. Okay. Right. That's a bit better. Try and get three different piles. When it's wet, you try and need to be over the top of it. Stop it getting too wet. Yeah, the outer of this kindling is going to be a little bit wet, but hopefully we can get enough heat in there quickly to get that going. So, good handfuls of all of this kindling. Three different stages. Matchstick size, moving up to pencil size then little finger size. So a good handful of each. Okay. Right, got them ready. Just gonna lay a little bit of wood down as a raft, clear the area a little bit. You know it's damp down there. Just lay a raft down. And 
we can get that on there. I'm just going to move you down a bit. There we go. Okay, so get that paracord bracelet out. Okay, so the striker isn't that big on here. So we'll just have to see how this goes. I'm getting cold hands, so hopefully this doesn't snap. Because that's me done for. There's no fire. Okay, so what I need now is some silver birch. Silver birch is great, even when it's wet, we can pull this off, just dry it in between our hands. Get it when you get it before you need it is the key. But you're not really doing it any harm by pulling this off. The more the better. A good handful, nice and dry. Okay, so a good handful of silver birch in there. I'm just gonna ruffle it around, warm it up in my hands a little bit, place it on my raft. Get this there. Hopefully this doesn't snap. Get our life size, life saving fire. There we go. Just come out. So hopefully we can just use it without it being inside there. I'm going to rough it up a little bit more. Need something solid go down onto really. Okay, so that's already come out of that plastic casing, which is no good. That's not what you want in a survival situation, trying to light a fire. Cold and wet. But let's see if we can get this done. I just managed to pop it back in. Let's see if we can get this bit. out of there so it's not held in there very well. Uh, if it was any wet or any cold out here you'd be suffering. I'm trying to hold this tiny thing in your hands. I'm trying to hold it in between your finger and your thumb lose the dexterity as you get cold and wet. Try and get a bit of warmth in there and try and get as many sparks as I can in there but this is a struggle. This is a real struggle. get this silver birch going should be out of danger but it's easier said than done it's being so small such a tiny ferro rod here and just don't know what the quality of this ferro rod is like It's running even more now. It's becoming even more of a struggle. This. I would not trust this in a survival situation. It's a, it's a cool little idea, but you need it most if you haven't got anything else with you. So no knife. No, no man-made tinders. So yeah, this will probably go up really well with cotton wool. First strike. But natural tinders, you know, damp atmosphere. The 
here as well. Survival, never give up. Even when you think the odds are stacked against you, never give up. Even if it seems unlikely, like this is right now, just can't give up. Because we need that fire. We get this fire morale. Let me through the roof if you're in a small situation. 